Hi everyone, this is Fernando Herboso with ReallyNiceHomes.com, Maxus Realty Group. And today we're going to be talking about marketing tips to sell a home. Target high value renters. Secrets of marketing to renters. Direct marketing is simply a message for a group of people that have something in common. Tenants are possibly the easiest and the most inexpensive buyers to attract. They're the ones that will bring the largest return on effort and investment for you. If you want to send your postcards or flyers to the groups of people who most likely will generate results for you, then marketing to renters is definitely an easy choice for you. One of the most guarded secrets that most investors have when they sell their properties is they're, they're focusing on the monthly payment rather than the actual asking price of the house. In this case, what looks better to you? A house that is listed at $250,000 or a house that is listed for $1,267 per month? A house is the largest purchase most renters will do in their young lives, so it's important for them to calculate what their mortgage payments will be and how much they can really afford. They can afford the price or they can afford the mortgage payment. And I can assure you, when you are marketing directly to renters, you market them with the mortgage payment, the monthly mortgage payment not with the price of the house and let me explain let me explain why this is the case if you live in a house for only three years you are not paying two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a house you're only paying 36 monthly mortgage payments of one thousand two hundred and sixty seven dollars that is perception versus reality you have to understand that most mortgage uh, length of mortgage rates are between 30 to 15 to 30 years long. Most people are not going to live in a house 30 years long. They are not going to stay even 15 years in a house. Most people are moving between 3 to 5 years in the United States. And when they are young, when people are first just starting, Obviously, they are the ones going to be most likely to move sooner than later. So, when a young buyer comes, a first-time home buyer comes to buy a home, what is more important for them is actually the monthly investment that they have to do every single month versus what they're really asking. The price of the pro the price of the property is just a number. It's a number that really does not have any. Uh, bearings to what they can afford in a monthly basis. This is why perception versus reality is very important for you to present that to the buyers when you're marketing a home. And why you should be marketing to renters? You know, with home prices stabilizing across the country, especially around the area in Maryland, D.C. and Virginia, mortgage interest rates are record lows right now. Purchasing a home may be more, afford more affordable than ever for first-time home buyers. You know, and the key steps that you must take in order for you to take advantage of this is, number one, to find them. How do you find the renters that you're going to market to when you're trying to sell a home? It's very easy for most uh, real estate agents who are listing agents because they can easily perform a search using the MLS and then they can ask they can actually pinpoint all absentee owners for the houses around the home that they're trying to sell it's a very easy list to get and once you you get all these lists you are basically uh knowing right firsthand that all those homes there is a tenant living in there so then you get their addresses and basically you're ready to send your marketing piece to them directly. If you are for sale by owner, a person trying to sell on your own, you can still do this. You can perform a search of all the houses around your house where you can find who whose house has an absentee homeowner and that house is the tenant you're looking for. And uh, the person who can do this list for you very easily, really a no charge, will be 
the company you're going to be choosing where you're going to have your settlement where the title that where the title company who is going to be conducting the settlement of your house you can go and ask directly to them and say I'm selling my house and this is where I want to close it you know obviously then you may have to go to two three four different companies but there's going to be a company that's going to give you access to their system so they can pull all the absentee homeowners for the homes around your home that's when you find them the direct marketing is next by using US mail the renters wondering whether buy, buying a home should be first meet the following criteria they should be committed to living in the same location for a few years have a secure job and income and have save up enough money for a down payment then you give them an offer they can refuse the flyer the postcard or the letter that you're sending directly to these renters has to have those questions and those points very clearly because most people you know they're renting for a reason they cannot afford they can afford to buy they may not have good credit or they may not have enough money for the down payment but that is what you're trying to analyze once a person self qualify to maybe be possibly a homeowner soon then that's when you gotta give them an offer and the next step is actually the offer what sounds better price of two hundred fifty thousand dollars or only one thousand two hundred and sixty seven dollars per month and that is the difference of how that offer is being presented on the eyes of the renter the renter is seeing that is easily easily affordable to buy a home which in some cases they may even be paying the same amount per month for rent in the place where they're living so obviously this makes a lot more sense for them and sometimes they can even choose their, their deposit the rent deposit plus a few thousands of dollars they may have saved and that should be enough for the down payment that they need to purchase a home that is the time when you are educating the consumer to see if they can qualify for a house so you can compel them enough that they need to call you to find out if they can afford this house in this case the opportunity is there they have a home they don't have to change schools if they have any kids they don't have to change any schools they are they're committed to the neighborhood they like the area they know how to commute what's the fastest route to go to work every day so they don't want to move and they really really like the place and when they when you present them with a flyer or postcard or letter saying that there is a house just down the block from them and in the, the and the mortgage payment could be the same as the rent obviously that's what brings them the idea most buyers determine how much house they can afford by following one simple rule how much it costs them monthly and that is what you're trying to bring to them how much is per month remember don't just sell a house sell a lifestyle you know if you're a real estate agent or you're a homeowner selling a house you need to use all the resources that you have at hand to tap into the buyers mind to plan a positive lifestyle image for that very same reason it's an image of what they can afford and why they what they cannot afford every single month I can assure you that your house or the house you're trying to sell will have to capture the imagination of the buyer in order for you to sell it and that's what I say don't just sell a house sell a lifestyle my name is Fernando Arboso I am a broker realtor listing specialist for Maryland DC and Virginia our website is really nice homes .com. if you need to sell a home in Maryland DC and Virginia please give me a call 301-246-0001 I will be happy for you to give me the opportunity to apply for the job to help you sell your home thank you and have a great day